rain is giving me a headache. The night house. You. Yes. I think your brother may be looking for you. What? No. I have no family. You sure? Entirely. This is my home. My sisters of the night. I must be mistaken. Yes. Run. I'd like to spend the evening with you. With pleasure, white-haired one. But you must first make a contribution to the house of the night. A mere 500 orins. How much? We can always bargain. I preferred. How interesting. What would you say to one what? Thousand? No way. Shove off, bum. Yes. I With pl Um. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Work. Uh. I have. Yeah. I thought this. This. I. You are. Okay. You bastard. Let's fucking let's have him. Huge kick. Bam, bam, bam. I'm doomed. Come in. Fucking useless bodyguard, aren't I'm you? Doomed. Huh? Hello. What on earth have we got going on here? They're, they're all blonde. Uh, well, is that polite? Barging in without an invitation? I'm here on business. Then refusing to answer questions. The Geralt of Rivia I heard of was a courteous witcher. Forgive me, madam. I lost my memory. I know, witcher. I followed your deeds for some time. Why the interest? My lover, whom I've never forgotten, called you friend. He perished helping you battle a powerful foe. But that was long ago. What brings you here? You mentioned times past. Could you tell me about your man? I never said he was a man. More importantly, you were a friend to him. Alas, Regis just drank too much. Thus we parted. His habit nearly killed him. Angry peasants attacked him. After he recovered, he led a loner's life. Until he met you. Sadly, I remember nothing. Don't concern yourself with that. I appreciate that at his death he had friends. True friends. Uh, what do I need to do to spend the night with these beauties? What do I need to do to spend the night with these beauties? Forget you're a witcher and call yourself a friend. Forgive me, madam, but I don't understand. Be patient. In time, you will. Who are you? I'm the queen of the night. I realize my clients' dreams, leaving them relaxed and content. With empty coin sacks. I fulfill their dreams. If only for a brief moment. And dreams are priceless. Right. Take care. Talk to the lady of the night. Talk to the lady of the night. Talk to the lady of the night. Mm. Yes. I'd like to spend the evening with you. With Thank you. Follow me. I wanted to experience this fantasy of mine. Patience. First, a hot bath. Then your dreams will come true. Whoa.
Yes. What an interesting scar on your neck. Like it? It adds character. Intriguing. If you like, I'll show you more. I'd like to spend the evening with pleasure. Mm. Never mind. Tell them the night about this. Yes. God. Uh, damn, it's hot in this thing. Right. Where is this knight? Patrick. Patrick. Yes? There's a blue-eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. My sister would never degrade herself so. I have proof. I saw fang marks on her neck just as you described. How did this happen? She must be under some spell. That of the vampire who bit her. Perhaps she too has been transformed. Maybe. Witcher, you must help. The vampire clearly haunts the brothel. I'll do what I can. Hmm. I reckon it's the Lady of the Night, maybe. There is no other option but her. Into the night house. Stairs. You. You wish to ask me some. A vampire haunts this house. The marks on the neck of one of the girls. I can name quite a few ordinary animals that leave marks such as those. The girl's brother believes she would never work in a brothel of her own free will. He believes she must be spellbound. And you believe that? Don't be naive. The girl lives like a princess here. She wears the finest silks. Clients sell their estates to spend a single night with her. She enjoys servants and comforts you couldn't dream of. Her brother wished to give her in marriage to some old fool with hemorrhoids larger than a... No matter. She, on the other hand, desires to be a princess of the night. An eternally beautiful forbidden fruit. Vizima's dream. What are you talking about? I sensed that when I drank her blood. What are you looking at? Yes, I'm the vampire who haunts this house. Yet I never kill. Blood energizes me, like alcohol does humans. In any case, I've never hurt a soul. Or it will this be. Is nonsense. My daughters and I drink our customers' blood. We never kill. Their blood pays for our services. Everyone profits. And the blue-eyed girl? She summoned me herself. In her dreams, fantasies, she yearned for freedom and eternal beauty. We're not monsters, Geralt. I'll offer you a deal. One night with my daughters in exchange for peace. For forgetting this entire matter. And if I don't consent? Someone will die. You, me, the blue-eyed girl? Would it be right to choose death? Even the death of a vampire? Whoa. Yeah, you got me there. You win. I'll leave you be. Come, dear daughters. Time to show the Witcher the source of all legends about the House of the Night. Yes, 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 yes.
How much longer? Traitor! I knew I shouldn't trust a witcher! Why this intrusion, knight? I had you followed. You've consulted with a vampire, and you'll die with her! Don't do anything stupid. No one needs to die here. You have proven yourself the stupid one, witcher. Now reap your punishment! Stop! You don't stand a chance against us. Us? My dear sister, we are here to save you, to lift this evil spell that binds you. There is no spell. Your sister is here of her own volition. She was unwilling to spend her life washing dishes and spreading her legs for a rotting old man. Enough lies! Attack! Wait. <laughs> um... Um... Shit. Um... You know what? You, 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 you guys figure it out. If you, 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 mm, mm. Yeah, figure this, this is none of my concern. You. This is none of my concern. You promised us respite. You lay with my daughters, and now we're of no concern. You two-faced scoundrel. Oh yeah. Too. He plowed the she vampire. I knew it. Flaming Rose, attack! Uh... Attack! Oh shit! <laughs> Why am I missing everything? That was a heavy attack for these guys. Yeah, to be honest, both sides could probably do with killing each other. I need uh, my silver sword. Shit. I don't want to die. Oh, come on, you both don't want me, really? You don't understand. You're the one who doesn't fucking understand. You marched into my life, boots and all, and destroyed it. You killed those I held dear out of greed for my idiot brother's gold. Out! Ooh. 
Oh, I have my phone with you. I don't really care about you in here, so. And I start them. No one heard anything? No. No one's seen anything. No. Perfect. Evening. Dandelion wants his fucking flu back. Leave my daughter in peace. Um, I want nothing from your daughter. From your daughter. I don't believe you. Get out of my house, you blooming drifter! Listen, good man. Out, or I'll kick you out. I'd prefer a peaceful resolution. Shove off. I've heard enough insults. I'll take you with one hand, bastard! Take that! Who can have him? Have him, Geralt. Smack, 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 and you're down. Yeah, 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 I win. Fuck you. Damn you. Pass then. Just don't beat me anymore. Uh huh. We're gonna come to a peaceful uh, solution, but you chose not to. Upstairs, maybe. Hello, is this your daughter? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I apologize for the intrusion. That's all right. I'm terribly bored since Papa caught the troubadour dandelion here. No one sees me. He caught dandelion? Doing what? He was to teach me music. One day, Papa returned from the trading post earlier than usual. We were rehearsing the cantata, A Bird's Tears. Papa walked in at the climax. Is that an obscene song? No, it's beautiful. Very poetic. Papa couldn't understand why the rehearsal was in the nude. Oh? He was furious. He pulled an old crossbow from behind the wardrobe. Luckily, his vision isn't what it used to be. 
That's why I'm here. Why didn't he come himself? Perhaps it's just as well. You look promising too. I'm here about the loot. I figured. Somehow he hasn't been singing love songs under my window since Father caught us. By the way, I hope you didn't hurt Papa. He'll be fine. Why should I give up the loot? After all, Dandelion won't come to see me anymore. He's like that. If I give it to you, he'll use it to serenade some other victim. Uh. Hmm. You demonstrate that your character, the beauty of your soul, outshines raise, your raise. cheeks. <laughs> Don't flatter me. I'm no fool. The poet master humiliated me. He used me like some lewd wench. I want revenge. I want him to feel what I feel now. Um... If you give up the loot, it'll prove he's nothing to you. You dumped him. Yes, he fell at my feet. He proposed, but I refused. I would stop short of the marriage proposal. No one would believe it. Am I not good enough for that scoundrel? It's more his problem. If you knew how many tears I've shed for that idiot! Take the loot and go. Leave me to suffer. Can I cheer you up somehow? Embrace me. I heard once that a witch's oh. touch is, um, special. I have magic attack. powers, yes. Let me show you. Yeah, W Ruse. Do 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 do. Yo, dickhead. What your fucking loot back, mate? Got your loot back? Do some music now, can't you? Toss yeah. a coin to your witcher, perhaps. Here's your loot. Great. I owe you one. I need to prepare. When's your performance? After eight at night. Come if you want. If I can. Nice. Meditates to distribute talents. Cool. Do 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 do. I said the sentences. I said I should talk to Triss. Oh, this is a dentist's house now. We have a dentist in town. Where is he? Not here, that's where he is. Greetings. Greetings, dwarf. No pain in your teeth? Schmarz, sein, dentist. Geralt of Rivia, witcher, immune to cavities. Right. Witchers slay monsters? Generally, yes. Dentists too, but rarely. And because I'm a collector of teeth. Uh, what more? Want more teeth? Teeth? Like teeth of what? The rarer the better. I'll pay. I'll look. Remember, they need me monster teeth. I prefer unique specimens with a story to them. Okay. How Interested in fledder fangs? Fledders. They 100.
Hmm. Interesting dentist. Not gonna lie. Scribe, are you here, scribe? Scribe, scribe, are you the scribe? Yes, I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? Certainly. Thank you. Now sign the receipt. Next. Job done, eh? Ooh. Triss, 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 Triss. Geralt. I placed the sensors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin at St. Lebiota's Hospital. Alvin? Can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything? He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We must rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shine. I can't believe Alvin's she has no in the story idea again. The entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. <laughs> One more thing. Children of elder blood attract creatures from the beyond. Ghosts and specters. You might find this scroll useful. Listen, about my... Why were you in that witch's house? If not for Triss, I'd be dead, most likely. I'll show Spying you on me? Tender side if you're lying. Ah, what brings you here? That witch is trying to steal one of my patients, Alvin. What does that hag know about raising children? Everyone knows she can't have her own. I don't want her handling that child with her dirty paws. Devil only knows what she wants with him. Explain to her that Alvin's staying with me. It'd be much simpler if you two would just agree. Simple or not, you know her better. Please bring Alvin to me. Okay, give me a kiss. <laughs> oh? Shit. Who the fuck do I take the child to? Um... Do we... Do we take it to Triss, maybe? Oh god, decisions, decisions... Oh dear, this is not easy. Geralt, I was looking for you. I had no idea Nurse Natala was such a wellspring of passion. You ever seen her leaning over patients? <laughs> Those eyes. Dandelion. Uh, in any case, I was on my way here to entertain Natala with some scintillating conversation when I passed these two odd-looking men dragging out this kid who was hollering and crying. They called him by his name. I think it was Alpin or Albin or something. Shit, that's who I'm here for. Well, you'll be proud of me. Oblivious to any danger, I decided to help the kid and followed them. They dragged him to this house. You're right. I am impressed. Told you. You have to take me with you this time. This is true ballad material. Matter of fact, I'll lead you there. The house is in the non-human district. Follow me. Oh, uh, great. Not another quest with Dandelion. Another adventure with him. Oh, Which way is it? Uh, which way? Geralt, there's no time to lose. Which way? Which way? Which way? Oh, hello. Uh, we've got a mission. We've got a mission. We've got a mission. we got a mission. This is where they brought Alvin. Great. Wait here and don't enter until the fighting stops. You always tell me to wait outside. No. This time I'm going in with you. I'll create a new genre. The proactive ballad. I don't want you around when I start swinging. Okay. I guess poetry requires sacrifices. 
Geralt, hurry! Die, bastard! Oh, hello. Oh, I've been clicking the wrong fucking button. No wonder it won't work, yeah. Right, we took care of them. Alvin! I'm glad you're here. Everything will be alright. Are they dead? Yes, Alvin. They gave me no choice. I understand, Geralt. Take me away from here. I will. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Geralt. And here's the boy. See? Where would you be without me? Shh. They're coming. Grab the kid and go out back. You heard them outside? Amazing. Okay, I'll take him. But where? Shit. Um... Fuck! I think... Triss would be the good choice here. I mean, Shani, you know, good, good parenting. You know, good look after him. But then he has elder blood. And you're going to need someone to help control it. So, yeah. Take him to Triss. She's a sorceress. She'll protect him best. Oof. Doubt that'll make Shani happy. But it's better than angering a sorceress, I guess. Get going. Okay, I'll leave the boy with Triss. Cool. Jill. Hello, fellas. You dare challenge the Salamandra. Dead fellas, dead. They all are dead. Don't stand a chance. Right, let's go. Let's leave. Hello, dwarf. They come at night, raping and killing. What's in here then? Can't go that way. Sacred dwarven tradition. An eye for an eye. Right. Uh, let's go to Triss. Which way is it? <laughs> I was down and then to trade court. Okay. Triss, I'm back. I'm in. I want a puppy. We can't have a dog the way we live. You're bad. I could hug him. Triss, where are you? Triss, 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 where are you? Triss, Triss, you be Triss, Triss. Yo, Trish. You're not here. Some hu hey, not my work. I don't eat live ones. Agreed. The pointy eared ones. They rob graves and sneak about. Whoever's in their way, they kill. And your group leaves them alone? With a taste terrible. And they bring us food. Thanks. Now shove off. Be seeing you. Whoa. 
What do you see? Murder. Then visit the city. It's inhabited by a criminal race. I doubt you. You threaten us, kill us. I'm listening. Hmm. Tell me more. Besides the talking ghoul, the Scoia'tael played a role, robbing graves and slaying anyone in their path. But... A talking ghoul? Perhaps you've taken one elixir too many. What happened? I slew the murderers, but couldn't save the humans thrown to the ghouls. Eternal fire, how terrible. The Order thanks you, but cannot give you full payment since innocents died. I pray you understand. Not good. Seems to be a banquet or something going on. I'm all for it. It's dandelion. Yes, bravo! Well done. Awesome. What's the bar? Who are you? I was once invincible, the Great White Hope. Huh? Now I loiter around cesspools because of one fight. You were a warrior? A boxer. I had fans galore. Women, gold. And now? What happened? Judges disliked blows below the belt. They disqualified me. I see. I fought until... Until... I fought the lion. Did he? One punch. Deadly. And I realized I'd never win. I've worn a hood ever since to avoid being recognized. After one punch? It was a spiritual transformation. I can take you. A wager, huh? Two hundred orins. <sighs> oh, I'm in. <clears throat> Ooh, fucking hell, you do fight. Oh, 
Ah, I lost my money, bitch. My fucking money. Did you train with the lion? I'm a witcher. I win. Take your prize. Ooh. I'll take the magical sign and the runic stone. Here. Well, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you, gents. I must head upstairs. Ooh, we've got loads of people here. Look, and everyone's in here. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm -hmm. I have had enough of this. So, you guys, merchants, are you? City councillor. Merchants, mysterious nobleman. Rumor says that you mm. Female companion. Oscars. Lutes. Cool, cool, cool. Declan. <gasps> hey, there's the guy! I've been looking for you all over the fucking place. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, uh, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgomeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. The remaining guests are in that room. Hello, Knight. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vow oh shit, the princess is here, her, isn't she? Whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Uh-huh. Nobleman. Um. No woman. Mysterious no woman. Harold. Declan! Long time Geralt, we'll see. Ovidia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. I'm busy now. Oh yes, we definitely will speak later, yes. Get out of my sight, freak. Ooh. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Um... Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress... Raise, 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 raise. To you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Livarden. 
You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Oh, but Jesus, okay. Must go. Later. Hey, okay, girl, are you just chilling? Mm -hmm. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times. New customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I've the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Who exactly is DeWet, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. To marry an intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. 
I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. I'm busy now. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Hey! Tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Uh... The similarities are evident. Allow me one jest, Witcher. Very well. A countess said to a count. Shall I have dinner served? What a waste. Perhaps we might go for a walk. What a waste. May I ask a riddle then? Very well. What is warm, hairy, and dives into holes? A cock. Not so, at all. What did she say? A mouse, a mouse in a cunt. What a waste. <laughs> Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with full play, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin and the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness. She has got away so with words. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power, they both come down to one thing, fucking others. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, Your Highness. Um. Do you have something tasty for me? Shit, yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? I'm listening. Uh, what does the princess like to eat? What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Okay. Relax, Burgermeister. I'm listening. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... Uh... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents <laughs> scour the realm to fetch her treats. <laughs> Thanks. 
Where is he then? Gerald. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents. People well, what is he then? What is it? Calm down. Me to dish. Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. And be discreet. But then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. How'd it go? Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Catoblepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac who looked a lot like you what the fuck arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepas meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepas throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepas, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Ah, uh. Triss. Geralt. Ah, uh, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen. Well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. I'm busy. Cattle steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms too. Holy shit. I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Do you have something tasty for me? I do indeed. Steak tartare of Catoblepus. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, your highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> ah, wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Where exactly? Yes, 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 yes. Not so hasty. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah? No? Yes or no? Politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. As you command. I should think so. I'm Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Geralt. I'm done playing your game. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful! It's as we've heard! 
All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Our spies say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. The swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. What's going on out here then? Seems to be the problem. Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Falter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never. You won't take me alive, you bastards. Shit. 